Alright guys, so today I'm going to go over my new red dot sight that I picked up uh, from Aid Advanced Optic. Now it's called the Delta, is what I'm calling it, it's the name on top of the red dot sight. But model number wise, it is RD3-012. Like I said guys, I'm calling it the Delta, uh, that's what it says on top of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. When you guys receive it, this is how it's going to show up. Go ahead and open it up. You're going to have a little styrofoam in there. Um, first thing you're going to see is you're going to see your owner's manual which gives you a lot of great helpful hints, tips, and tricks if you're having problems with anything. Also tells you your settings and what the buttons and features do. The other thing you guys get here is a, the warranty information. Uh, you get a one year warranty, stated right here, but it is what it is. Um, at least they're warrantying it. Uh, I wish they'd do, do a lifetime warranty, but it's a good company. You get your optics cleaning cloth and you get a piece of paper on feedback. Now if you guys have ordered this off of Amazon, you guys can order this off of Amazon. And if you do, they want your feedback. So if you guys go on Amazon and follow these three steps, they will send you a free magnifier worth $15. It's up to you, if it's worth it to you, go ahead and leave feedback. If not, just toss it. So guys, this is how it shows up. Now what you guys get is you guys get this, you guys get a Allen wrench with an O-ring, and you guys get a adjustment tool. This will open your battery compartment. The battery is a 1632, and this end is what you'll use to adjust your windage elevation and lock your red dot sight in. Now guys, when I first opened this too, I was trying to get this out. I was fighting and fighting and fighting, as you guys can see. The easiest way to get it out, flip it over, pull it out the bottom. Once you guys have got it out, there's your cover. The cover is nice and tight. I do like that. And here is what the optic looks like. It does kind of have a blue hue to it. You guys can kind of see there when I turn the lens just right. Greenish blue hue. Not bad. So let's go ahead and turn the red dot on. Push and hold for a few minutes. There it comes on. There it was. You guys saw how quick that was. It is a 6 MOA red dot. And it turns off very quickly. One, two, about two seconds. It does come with this pick rail mount. It You do have an option if you want to spend a little bit more to get it to come with a plate mount as well. This does fit a Vortex Venom plate mount. It does not fit a Vortex Venom slide cut. So guys, if I tried to mount this to the Vortex Venom slide cut, which is what we've got here, the front of it fits just about right. The screw holes are just about right. You can't see down inside there, but they do line up very well, very almost perfectly. It is just the very back of this is not cut the same. And it is a little longer than a Vortex Venom cut. Let's go ahead and take our measurements. We've got this in inches. So let's go ahead and measure what we've got from front to back in inches. 1.88 in inches. So if I go to the buttons on the side, 1.2, it's not too bad, they claim a 1.25. Then our overall height, is 1.1, not bad. So let's go ahead and check our lens. We'll change back over to millimeters. And our lens is 26.3 wide, not bad by 17.5 not a bad little lens guys i do like this whole setup this whole look overall all right guys so let's go ahead take this out do some shooting with it and we'll go over some more features on it all right guys so uh, we're going to test fire this uh delta from aid advanced optic let's see how well this works
Dang, it's kind of hard to hit when he's swinging. <laughs> God, guys, I really like this red dot. Uh, being a 6 ohm away, it's still kind of a big red dot. But uh, pull it up, find it really quick. Got a bigger screen, a wider screen on it. I didn't know if I was going to like it. The screen's not as tall, but uh, I really do like this, uh, this Delta. All right, guys, so let's go over some of the features of this Delta from Aid Advanced Optics. Or It is a 6 ohm away red dot. It does say it right there. It does come with the pick rail mount. So if you guys want to mount it to that, you guys can. Another feature that I like about it, guys, is to replace the battery. You do not have to remove the sight. The battery compartment is right up here on top. Uh, they, they give you guys tools that I showed earlier to take the battery out. So to turn it on, you push the up button and then you make your adjustments and you push and hold the down button to turn it off for about two to three seconds. So it shuts off very quickly. Now when you turn it back on, it comes right back onto the last setting, the last brightness setting or intensity setting you had it at. Now to make your windage and elevation adjustments, there's a screw on top and a screw on the side. You adjust it to where you need it. And then at the very back of the optic, there are two locking yeah, screws. Really so if you use those, really your red dot will stay exactly zeroed where you have it at. I've not had any shifting issues with it. With Like I said, it's only been 150 rounds. Um, I am planning on getting a pistol and mounting it to it. Getting a pistol plate, mounting it to it. So. We'll take it out, run it through some more paces. You guys will see it on the channel a little bit more. Now guys, I was excited to get this red dot. I was really hoping it was gonna fit on my Venom Cut Glock. It doesn't, but this is still going to go into my uh, my red dot playlist, guys. So if you guys are looking around at uh, red dots, maybe which are good affordable ones, don't be afraid to check out the Aid Advanced Optics line. Guys, they have a lot out there. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with this, in all honesty. I kind of wish I would have gotten the other one that had a 3MOA, but uh, you know, 6MOA is not bad, and I'm not going to complain. I got this at a great price, 85 bucks. All right, guys, well, so far, <clears throat> I didn't do anything to this red dot but throw it on, and it is actually holding zero very, very well. Uh, I don't have a target down there. I just got a piece of wood that I'm shooting at right there. And uh, it's not a very big piece of wood, probably that big around. And it's holding up great. Keep shooting at it, see what we can do. All right, guys, so uh, that last video you guys saw, it uh, was only me shooting a few times. The reason being, I wish I would have got it on video, but I didn't, was uh, I had this red dot, this Delta, by 8 Advanced Optics mounted on the rear sight like that. And as I was firing, the whole plate, slide, and everything mount came flying off my gun because this piece failed, blew off my gun, came back. But this is my head, it hit me on top of the head just like that. And I have a big cut on top of the top of my forehead, just above my hairline, in my hairline. And uh, yeah, so I decided I'm not gonna fault the sight for that, because it's not the sight. So we decided to try a different plate. We uh, will go that route, see if this plate holds up, and try it all over again. All right guys, we're gonna try the AEDE. As you guys can probably see, it's not mounted on there straight. I'm going to fire three or four shots, just to show you guys. Does it mount on there? It is solid, so let's give it a few shots, see what it does, but I'm not going to leave it on there. Not only that, I want to fire a few more shots through this uh, Glock 17. Alright, we'll finish the last one off. There we go. It is coming loose. That's why I said I wouldn't trust it this way. All right, let's go mount it to an actual uh, plate and shoot it the way it's supposed to be shot. 
All right, guys, last time I took this red dot side out, the plate broke off. I wish I would have got it on video, but the plate broke off. It's a two-piece plate. It broke off, came back. The whole plate, sight, and everything hit me the top of the head. That's why I'm wearing a hat today. We're going to try this one piece from DPP. Post a picture of it down here in the corner somewhere. So uh, we're going to try this one out. I have high expectations for it. It's a one piece, and it seems to be very tight on there now, and it sets a lot flatter. So pretty happy with it. I did order another second piece one and try it out. Guys, it didn't even make it out of the range before it broke. This one was 20 bucks. Just spend the extra money, get one of these. Uh, this is a hard anodized one. They have a titanium one too as well for 32. So if you wanna go that route, there's that one. So you guys can see it fits on there very nice. I like the coloring of it. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and try this out. Holding on. Oh yeah, guys. Awesome, awesome red dot sight. All right, guys, this 8 Advanced Optic, guys, is a great red dot sight. Now, there are a few things. I would not go with a two-piece RMR plate or optics plate that takes your rear spot back here. Go with a one-piece. This thing is on here nice and tight. And after this thing flying off, hitting me in the head, landing in a ditch behind me and some rocks, going down, finding it, and knowing, remounting it right back on here and having it re-zeroed, guys, I can contest. This red dot sight is a tough SOB for 90 bucks. Guys, I highly recommend this red dot sight, especially if you want a red dot sight to try out. This would be a great red dot sight to try out on your pistol if you're not into, if you don't know if you'll like it. Because pistol shooting with a red dot sight isn't for everybody. Some people just can't acquire that sight as fast. Some people can. So, you know, if you want to try it out, this is a great option. $110 with the plate. Now, the plate is a different company than Aid, but you can get them both at Amazon. So try, if you guys are looking for something like this, check out this Aid advanced optic and this this dpp optics plate I'll tell you what guys i really like this setup and eight advanced optics you guys are knocking out of the park great optic i'd love to try some more of your guys' stuff hey guys if you like this video give me a like subscribe feel free to share this on any social media out there don't forget if you'd like to help out the channel i'm going to set up a paypal account it'll be down in the description below we also have a patreon account and uh over on gun streamers so if anything ever happens here check me out over on gun streamer as well guys Thanks for shooting the breeze with me. We'll catch you next time.